Hey guys, this is Christopher, and welcome back to another OnShape tutorial. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use the Loft tool. And like these other tools, we need to first create a sketch. And I'll position my first one here in the top plane. Now, the Loft tool is going to connect two sketches that are in different planes. So I'm going to position my part, or my profile, somewhere around here so I can connect it to another profile around there. If I center about my origin, I won't be able to connect it to the other planes. I'll see, I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. So first I'm going to make a circle um, and define this. And now I'm going to make a second sketch right here on this plane. And this time I will make a polygon. And it will be a hexagon. I will also define this. And I'll position it a little bit differently. Now we have two defined sketches, and using the loft, we're going to make a part between those. So, with the loft, uh, we select our two profiles, and it connects them like that. So, it creates this weird looking shape like that. You can see at the bottom here, it's a circle, and at the top, it's a perfect hexagon but in the middle it's kind of a combination of both and you look at these surfaces they're not really straight they're kind of weird bent uh, and curved but that is a combination of a circle and a hexagon between those so um, now I'll show you a different way you can do the loft I will keep this circle here, uh, but this time I'll make the loft a little bit straighter. Rather than making it on two planes which are perpendicular to each other, I'm going to create another plane which is parallel with the top plane. So this command up here, the plane tool, will create another plane. Um, I'm going to select the top plane uh, because I want it to be perpendicular to that and then offset it by three inches in the other direction. And now we have a plane down here. And I'm going to come over here and rename it the bottom plane. So we're also going to have a sketch in the bottom plane. And below my circle I'm going to put a square and define it. And now we have two sketches again and we can loft. So selecting our two profiles, now we have a more straight looking loft um, because these two planes are parallel. And like before, we see a circle on the top, and then now we have the square on the bottom, and in between we have a partial square and partial circle. So the loft is definitely the most organic shape um, or tool that you can use to make organic shapes. Um, it can be very useful when blending two dissimilar shapes together. You would not be able to do anything like this with the regular extrude. So I hope you found this video useful and if you did please like and subscribe.